Alright guys, how's it going today? Today I'm going to do a little video on this and it's called um, the water spot effect and when it looks like when it's done it looks like this and it looks wet but it's not wet and it's got those water spots on it and I'm going to show you how to get that effect it's really kind of easy but it's kind of hard on the edges most of the stuff I've seen done was on a flat surface um, people do it on like Xbox controllers and cell phone cases or you know stuff like that but anyway let's get to it I'll show you how to do it all right first off I got it painted just a flat color you can do different colors if you want and uh, we're going to achieve the effect by using some white and some black <clears throat> and what you do is you have to spray very low in a way where you're just misting it from one angle with the light and then from another angle with the dark to give it that shadow effect but first you gotta lay on some water so let's lay on some water just put some water on there spots however you like whatever makes you happy bigger spots look better and then to achieve the little spots you just take a little squirt bottle and just kind of you mess around with it until you get the effect you like and the droplets kind of stick to the sides because I'm using I'm using enamel based paint so it kind of But once you get, you know, kind of crazy little design you like, and you got some big water spots in there, kind of. First thing you're going to do, I'm going to come at it from this angle with the, with the light color. And then I'll come at it from another angle with the dark color. I need to get this shield. Got me a couple of shields here in case I need them. You gotta hold it back a ways, and you're just misting, is all you're doing. That's pretty much it. You just get a mist on there. Kind of catch some sides a little bit. I don't want to get the effect going up that way, so I'm going to kind of shield this off and hit it from that angle like that. All right. Now that I've got that on there, I'm going to come at it the other way with the dark. Make sure you got your cans, your tips are nice and open and ready to go, and then you're just going to come at it from this angle. And we'll back that away. And if you look, I got a fly that's stuck right there in that goddamn thing. Son of a bitch. There we go. When you know it, see that damn thing? Get a pair of pliers and get that out of there. There. All right. Now the biggest thing is you have to just let it sit. Okay? You can't move it. So I'm going to let it sit like this probably for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I'll gently, gently pick it up and put it inside the shop and you have to let it sit overnight I mean you got to let it sit the water has to evaporate out from underneath the bubbles and when it does it'll leave that 
shadow effect where it looks like bubbles of water on there. And matter of fact, I'm going to come back over this one again and do another layer of water and another spraying so it'll give it kind of a three dimension. I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but that's how you find cool stuff is just trying it. But anyway, give it a shot. It's kind of neat. It's kind of easy. And if you don't like it when it dries, you can sand it down and do it again. All right, guys, have a good one.